Hi, welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for land surveyors. Brought to you by EricColburn.com, professional land surveyor source. This video is AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 import field books. Hi, it's Eric here, and one of the questions I get more often than just about anything is how do I get my electronic field books from my surveying into AutoCAD Civil 3D? So here's a quick video on how to do that. It's not very intuitive uh, if you're first using Civil 3D. So uh, hopefully you, you've looked at uh, my video on how to set up survey databases. And you'll see on the left side of the screen, uh, I have a uh, database set up called Fieldbook Video. And I'm going to select Networks, right-click on that, and select New and I'm just going to call this network Fieldwork for lack of a better name and if you expand that you can see uh, the different types of things you can populate uh, in, within a network uh, control points, non-control points, direction setups, traverses uh, some of that you can manually do uh, in this case we're going to be taking a field book that starts with a traverse um, closed loop traverse and some side shots and we're going to bring that in so, now I'm going to highlight field work, network, right click, and you get a long list of things you can do. A little above middle, you'll see import. Some useful tools here, you can import a field book, point file, or if you have points already in the drawing, that's the way to drag them into your, your survey database. We'll go over that in another video. And I'm going to select an electronic field book um, that I've just named field book one. Here's the field book itself with the data from my field work uh, in that and this is what's going to be read by the Civil 3D as it comes in and, and it will know um, what all this data means. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with that so I'm not going to go into great depth on that at all. So I'm going to select field book one and click open and you'll see it uh, comes up with an import field book screen uh, and you have um, a lot of options we're going to keep it very simple right now um, we're gonna, the one thing that maybe you want to change is uh, the import event name which I'm going to keep as field book dash one which is fine but you can see it remembers what you did the last time and the last time I brought in the field book uh, was for a construction project so I called uh, that import event construction control. Perhaps we'll want to change that to uh, survey traverse. Hope I spelled that right. There we go. And take some time to look through this. There is some setup involved with this uh, with your equipment databases and current equipment that you're using so that it can match up some of the, the expected types of errors that would go with your equipment uh, which can be used with the least squares adjustments uh, and that does take a little setup and we'll go over that in another video uh, but you probably already have something similar to that set up going to select OK and the, while the computer cogitates and calculates you'll see that it's brought in this data for this uh, you can see that it's brought it in uh, the network is in yellow side shots are in blue and that's all there really is to it this has been AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for land surveyors Brought to you by EricColburn.com, professional land surveyor source.